Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Kirusho here, and now, before we do continue, let us give a brief little review. In the last part, a number of events have happened. We had Deku. Deku has been going through quite a lot. He learned that reality has had one alteration thanks to the Illuminati, and he confronted them trying to understand if there was more. Deku, he met with everybody, and he didn't really get an answer. All he knows is about the one. They already put up what happened with the Sentry to a vote privately without him. And they didn't want to discuss this again. Deku, he briefly talked to Black Bolt. He even told Dr. Strange about something going on with magic that Scarlet told him about. Now, whenever everybody left, it was just Deku, Reed Richards, and Tony Stark, the futurist in the room. Reed talked about a plan to rebuild the shield to protect Earth, the same one Thanos effortlessly blew up using the Power Stone. Now, Deku, he is aware. He also talked to Tony a little bit about extremists and how exactly his god killer does work. And Deku, he got a little bit more insight into the mind of the smartest man in the world. To build the future, you have to unravel a bit of the present. You have to unravel a lot more of the past. It's not easy. If you do it too fast, it won't work. It's like sewing. You must have a way of doing things. It takes careful precision to do what you want. It's required that you take your time. Go too fast, you will mess up. Or you will fuck up a job you were doing for somebody. It's just that simple. You won't be able to make what you need or what you wanted. It will be too hasty, too sloppy, and not good. It's just like that. Reed wants to make the future tomorrow. He wants to make the future easier. But by implementing the shield, he's restricting travel out in the space. Then he wants to find a way to do more. Make Earth a utopia. But that would require a lot of restrictions. And with that being said, we do currently pick up with Deku. A few days later, Deku is concerned about a ton of things. And right now we do cut to him in his lap, sitting in the chair that has no back support. And he does go to look around. Him, surrounded by several holographic screens currently in front of him. As Deku, he is typing away on a few things. Currently him with both of his hands up, trying to multitask. And doing so very well. As Deku, he also does wear something on his head. Currently him looking at the designs for the Marble Buster, and still going over a bit of schematics for them, running them through simulations with Miss Costa's help, and making sure that everything is going accordingly. And Deku, he would have bring his hand up. Currently, him tapping on one of the holograms and going to swipe it up. Currently, it going away from his view. And Deku, we just want to spin back around. Currently, him getting to work on a few projections. Okay, so, okay, the company is out of the way. He's got that done. He should be able to automate the rest of that. So, let's see. Designs for Kamala's suit he still needs to go over. He can remake it, better build it, maybe. But that would require a lot. Okay, so, the materials he can fabricate and make. Maybe even use... Metal, a synthetic mesh, nano mesh, maybe. It certainly is an idea. But along with that, he should get more information. He's also needing to look a bit more into actual information about that. Okay, okay, okay. So, currently, Deku bring his hand up, swiping that to the left as you're going to turn, starting at information about Nova's gear. Still trying to understand a little bit about this. The kid let him scan it, and he's happy for that. However, that's another thing. This is alien technology. 
stuff he's not even aware existed. The Nova Corp, or Core, or whatever. The kid is trying to find a way to get his dad back, or run into him, meet him. Okay, but if he was out there for five years while Nova was gone, then that means quite a lot. But if he wasn't, then he was gone too. So that trail is five years cold. Or the man could have already left wherever he was. He could try to... No, no. He doesn't know what type of network the helmet does have. If he does hack into it or mess with it, he can disrupt his gear. Hmm. If you try to build a Novacore helmet, that's an idea. Understand more about the power source, though, would... Understanding it would be better. Okay, okay. Currently, Deku's not going to turn. Right now, him goes on stop and bring his hand up. Him telling Miss Costa to save and fabricate designs for the Marble Buster. Him take the piece off his head and goes on set it down. And Deku would have turned, spinning around in his chair a little bit and looking at some other scans. Okay, so let's see. Do things that are very hard to understand. Things that do help his mind a little bit. Okay, a real challenge. How high the sentry's powers can go. And looking at Deadpool's mental health charts. Both two nearly impossible things to understand. Okay then. Uh, what would be easier? Deku, looking at the information. Deadpool's mental psyche analysis, or the powers of a guy with a million suns. A hundred million suns? Okay, so let's just put Deadpool's information away right now. Deku swiping that to the right, and currently he does begin to read a few things. He's trying to make a contingency plan against Robert Reynolds, and that is easier said than done. There is the obvious choice. Make him believe that his mental health is compromised and shut him down. Make him turn back into Robert Reynolds and while he's vulnerable, bang. I mean, if he ever does deem himself to be a true threat, I mean, it's a messed up idea, but it's very straightforward. It's also a simple one. He had another idea for how to take down a, the Hulk. That one's a little bit more extreme, but with the Hulk's healing factor, he knows he'd survive it. It would just turn him back into Bruce Banner. In this, it does won't worry Izuku. Currently, him hearing a knock on the door as he would have turned, and ask, well, Miss Costa, exactly who's up at night right now? There would be a number of individuals, including Deadpool, Carol Danvers, Spidey, Kamala Khan, and Aurora. She's awake? Is she okay? She is. However, she is the one currently outside. Hengus won't stand, walking over and pressing the button. The information on the screens behind Deku going to close. And she would go to stand there. Expressing holding up something in her hand. That, she was a bit concerned about him. Hey, what are you doing up? I'm... I could not sleep. Are you okay? I am a little bit better, yes. Though, I did have questions. I wanted to talk to you. I knew you'd be awake. So I decided to come here. Though, I also do have a little bit of news. Her guess what smile. Bring your hand out and grabbing onto Izuku's. Putting it right up to her stomach. Talking about how, while she was up, she felt a kick. And she was wondering if he had names. She has asked him this question before. She is very much partial to one. And she does like it. 
<laughs> right. For watching Deku. The look on his face, it softens. A lot. And he does this one smile. Her expressing. She was very partial to the name Trissa. And she was wondering about his input. She is also thankful. <laughs> it's a lovely name. I don't know what I would really pick. <laughs> you know, I... I didn't really pick the name Jasmine, but it sounded nice for um, my daughter. This is your child as well. Do be aware of that, Izuku. I am also a little worried. I have talked to Miss Costa, and she has said that you've been working in your lab a lot. I am, yes. There's just a lot going on. Currently, Carol, walking down the hallway. And she doesn't mean to, but with her enhanced senses, she can overhear this. She was heading over to the training facility. And currently, she does go to pass by. Deku expressing. He doesn't really need the full eight hours. Her is going to turn. Going to walk by and turn her head. Seeing Deku partially in the hallway, with his hand up to her stomach. Him telling her. It's complicated. After what happened with Ultron and the way he augmented his body, he doesn't sleep or feel right anymore. He can crush steel with his bare hands. And he's been slowly but steadily trying to solve many of these responses his body does have. The thing is, though, it also does concern him. It does it now. It does. I've had incidents before where things didn't go very well. Were they? I destroyed my room once in a fit. I've been trying to be more careful. More aware. Listen, um, I had a bit more work to do, but did you... Need anything else? Any more concerns you may have? Izuku, rest. Take some time off. You got on the West Coast because you were trying to avoid doing some more work, weren't you? Were you not? I didn't... No, no. I thought it was an opportunity. Another team somewhere else where they need heroes. Yes, you are the invincible Iron Man. However, I do not think that you are the infallible one. <laughs> right. Even invincible objects do need to stop, do they not? Besides, that only applies to your armor. What about Isuku Midoriya? What of he? <laughs> he could effortlessly bench press 20 tons. Though I guess you're right. The suit can do a lot, but I'll get to work on only one project. It shouldn't take me too long. Though, um, do you think that you might need a checkup? I'm fine. Besides, your research has been doing you well, but I think I will be okay for the rest of the night. Though, I will be getting one soon. Right. I'll... I'll send a message to the doctor. Let's see about that. Maybe you have to fly him out. Her is on step forwards. Giving Deku a kiss on the cheek, and then going to turn. Walking away, telling him to please get his rest. And Deku, he does a turn back to his lap. Him with a smile on his face. And currently Storm does a leave. And Carol, she's going to head to the training facility. Her with a lot of things currently heading through her mind. And Deku, him gonna walk over. Currently him sitting back down and going to bring his hand up. Him going to pull on the data pads back down as it does not float in front of him. Tapping in a few things. And Deku, he currently is gonna open some information 
and spread it out, currently making it larger and larger, as is sits in front of him like a holographic newspaper. And the article does go as following. Deku staring at it. It's information on the Genosian Gardener. And, well, he's looking at its maintenance. It has been doing very well. It's been doing exactly as he's programmed it. And it has not been given any orders other than what it currently has. It has been triggered before. And it has almost triggered him to head out there. But at the same time, Magneto isn't using it for nefarious purposes. These things have helped protect them. He still remembers the security contract he got. The anti-mutant president. They tried to give him a fucking medal. Because of what his creations did. He yelled at that man. And it does make Deku angry. Currently, him going to turn. Express name is Costa. He'd like her to pour him a drink. Version 3? Correct, Izuku. We'll be deploying it soon. And Deku, you're going to turn back. Going to read over a few things. Since he does want to know what exactly is going on in Genosha right now. I mean, Polaris is somebody who he's been trying to contact regularly. See if she's okay. She has responded sometimes. Pietro has talked about it. She's a little unstable sometimes. And that's what he's a bit afraid of. She might have an episode. She loves Genosha. And its protection, it's become important. And Deku, he does have his own concerns. Genosha's been attacked on a number of occasions. There are people who have plans to destroy it, who hate mutants. And every time these people think they're getting somewhere with humanity, humanity will spit in their face, or better yet, stomp on it. It's bad. And Deku, he is trying to come up with a bit of a plan. There is an idea. He believes that it's out in the Savage Lands. But there is a Sentinel Graveyard. But at the same time, just because one mutant is friendly, doesn't mean the other is. There are always going to be bad apples in the bunch. And that, that's just an unfortunate reality. You can't just deem absolute good because of one person. There will always be another evil, even within that same person. And Izuku, he's a lot more aware of that. Currently, him swiping the information, I'm going to bring his hand up, tapping a few things in before he does this on stand, going to leave. And Deku, he does get a head out. Currently, him going to walk over and grab the glass, him taking a drink from it and knocking it back, him setting it down and informing Miss Costa. But that was much appreciated and his nerves do feel a lot more relaxed. Her expressing to Izuku that the stimulant inside the drink will be taking effect in I know, I made it. I just appreciate it. Right. He wants to walk out of the door, and currently, he would leave. Carol Danvers is still awake, and that it does also give Deku the question, the way to pose it to Carol. He stewed on it for some time, and he's even thought about it. She hasn't come to him. He has to go to her. She's giving him time to gather his thoughts and give him, give her his say. It's appreciated. But at the same time, it has become a question. If the smartest men on the planet could wipe the memories of everyone, Wiping one would be child's play. They let her keep this information. But does she know that they exist? She never mentioned it in front of any other team member. And that, it does worry Deku. Currently, him walking into a room and staring at Carol Danvers. Who currently is doing a few things. Right now, him 
walking over and looking at the simulation. Currently, Carol, staying inside the training room and bring your hands up. Her flying in the air and blasting out some of the combat droids the Degadus have inside. And Izuku, he has a watch on. Some currently being destroyed and then going to smash down to the ground. And this, it has been quite a bit. Currently, her gonna turn and blast out another one. And Deku does watch on. Currently, her telling Miss Costa to increase the amount of androids inside the room and inside the simulation, asking her to turn on a more difficult mode. And currently, Friday, well, Friday, Miss Costa would get a beep. Her other destroyed androids going to, well, turn into liquid metal and then going to melt down and they're going to reform. Currently, them going to take on the appearance of a new enemy. And this time, Carol does it a battle. And Deku goes to watch. And Carol, she does have a bit more difficulty with this. She's trying to take out her frustrations, take out, take out a bit of her anger. And, well, it certainly does mean quite a lot. Her, eventually, walking out of that room to take a bit of a break. And Deku, he does go try and ask. Currently, her and I turn when the door does get open. So, how does she like the training facility? Her and I turn, walking out and grabbing onto a water bottle. Bring it up. Expressing that it does have some perks. She can hit something and it doesn't just stay down. It's nice. I'm sure it is. Listen, Carol, I have questions. All right. Have you had time to think about my information? I have. But I have another question. A more important one. And that would be? You challenged me because I know Robert Reynolds' danger. Yet, you're still here. You gave me that information so I can go to the Avengers. So let me ask you this. How did you know I wouldn't go to the Illuminati? Her staring at Deku, turning her head a little bit more... confused. Think that for a second, he's messing with her. The, the Illuminati. <laughs> you mean the guys who control everything and are in power? Carol, I'm being serious. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the team. You know who I'm talking about. You should. If you had that information, you should know them. Otherwise, that means they wiped your mind too. No. I don't get it. Reed Richards. T'Challa. Stephen Strange. Her bring your hand up. And somewhat grabbing the side of her head. A little bit more alarmed. No, this this team does sound familiar. Name more. Charles. Mm hmm. Tony. Exactly. Do you remember now? Vaguely. They. Those bastards wipe my mind. Mm hmm. Not surprised. Listen. I'm going to tell you something very important, Carol. We may not agree on a lot of things. We might butt heads. But we're team members, teammates, all right? Keep that a secret. The Illuminati already put to a vote what to do with Robert. All right? Now, I'm pretty sure we can help him. Maybe you're right. Her opponents don't turn away. And Deku can already tell. He doesn't need much to know it. Currently, Miss Costa is analyzing her. And she has an accelerated heart rate. Along with that, she does appear to be distressed. Deku can tell. This information is not good for her to know. And Deku, we're going to tell her. He needs her to keep it a secret. He's being serious. If they know that he told her, they're going to try and do more. 
fact is, he needs to know what's going on right now. He needs to find out why Reed is having his quote-unquote crisis right now. Then, he needs to look into and talk to Tony. He's not doing well. We're going to turn. What do you mean? He's back from the dead. He's better than ever. I know. Carol, I think he's relapsing. That... That's not good. Deku's seeing it. Carol's actually concerned. And it's... Strange. Okay. Listen. I'm gonna get some more information together. And I'm going to look into this. I'm gonna talk to Tony tomorrow. And see what I can do. I can count on your help. You can. Trust me. Tony and I... We have a little bit of a history. He helped me out. And I saw him fall. It's going to be... It's important that he gets clean. I know. Listen. I just... I need to think. You're right about a few things. Robert is dangerous. But if you keep fighting me on this, he won't get better. He has been doing better. He's left his room twice in a row already. That shows improvement. He's not afraid of wandering the tower. That's better already. Listen, if we can get him put into action and he goes outside, that shows he's doing better. He doesn't need to be the sentry. He needs to be Robert. He needs to be able to know he can live his life as himself, not confined to one place. That's the problem. Tomorrow, I might try to take him out for lunch, see if he's receptive, or if he'll just close the door in my face. It'll be a step. I'll keep the invitation open to him, along with maybe everybody else. Though maybe it would be nice to discuss this. Would you like to go tomorrow? Hmm? Are you inviting me to lunch? I'm inviting you to talk with me and Robert. <laughs> Maybe Spidey and Kamala will be uh, receptive. Though I heard this is a pretty good place in San Francisco. Maybe pizza? Hmm. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, listen, I've been here before. Hmm? I'll see if it's still open. I was here a few years ago in San Francisco. There was this nice spot. Small. A little homey. It was good. We got really good food. Also, um, yeah. I'll look into a few more things. Try and get my own head on straight. If they did wipe my mind, I'll need time to remember it. You gonna be alright? I'm not sure. Though, it's a lot to throw at me at once. Just still a little weird. Right. No, I do understand. Listen, I, uh... I'm worried. I know. It's not just that. If Reed is gonna be doing something crazy like Hank, I don't want to know what he'll do. His son, Franklin's a different story entirely. But that is also concerning. I'll... Talk to Johnny. See if he can talk to his sister. That would be appreciated. Maybe discuss it over lunch tomorrow. He'll be in a good mood. Especially knowing off with the bill. <laughs> Possibly. Carol going to actually somewhat relax a bit more. And Deku? He will get to leave. Currently, him, a bit more concerned. He heads back to his room. He has a shower. He feels his shoulders relax. He feels his body start to relax too. The stimulant is going to kick in. And he'll be able to get some proper sleep. He engineered it specifically to be non-addictive. And to taste like some alcohol. But at the same time, he also made sure that it wouldn't be too much. 
he should still be able to feel rested. Fine. Okay. And Izuku, he does lay down. And with a lot going through his head. And it does worry him. He's thinking back to Storm's conversation. Take time off. Relax. Rest. In his mind, it's worried about her. She's right on a few things. But at the same time... Ah, damn it. I'm gonna get up. And currently head to her room. He wants to make sure that she's okay. And make sure that she doesn't need company. If she is still awake, then he can try and help her relax. Or maybe just spend time with her. Like he did with Scarlet. And that does go through Dick's mind. And currently we do actually have Tony Stark. Who, he does sit there in his ivory tower. And he does have a lot going on. He currently has let them all know. Let everybody in New York know about it. The midnight launch of Extremis. I mean, hey, it's going to make him quite a hefty amount of money. And besides, you can become the version of yourself you've always wanted to be. Isn't that quite the catch? <laughs> All you have to do is pay. And with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing night. I'll catch you guys in the next part.